one small change that can dramatically improve your guitar playing. So before we start this video officially, I want to do a little experiment. So I want you to play three bar chords, A, C and B, and we're going to play this. So A, 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 C, B, A. Now, once you've played that, I want you to just play an A minor scale. Okay. So do that first, and then what I want you to do is exactly the same thing, so play the chords. and then play the scale. But while you're doing that, I want you to look at what's happening with the angle of your wrist here. Now, I've recently changed the way, I, the way I'm trying to play. And I'm doing this based on a really cool video that I watched by Ben Higgins, and I'll put a link to his video in the description. So when playing rhythm, you naturally relax and your wrist falls into a natural position, which is slightly bent here. I mean, that's, that's an exaggeration. That's the opposite, so it's somewhere in between. It's around here, okay? It's a naturally relaxed position. When you then play, sometimes, and I've been guilty of this for many years, you put your wrist here on the body, which then changes the natural movement in your hand. And if you just try that, just try shaking your hand gently in this position and then flattening your wrist and it completely changes the movement okay not only does it change the movement it changes the angle at which you're coming down through the strings so if my wrist is locked on here I can barely play the high E string because of the angle here whereas when I relax my hand or my wrist should I say everything flows a lot easier okay now if you've been playing in a certain way for years it's going to be difficult to change this and it's going to take a bit of practice so what I've been doing is whilst I've been watching anything on the TV I literally have just been practicing over and over again through my scales. So you watch an hour of telly and you've got an hour worth of practice. And I've been exaggerating that position. Another thing you can do is use a little tool to help transition from your normal playing to here. And I'll show you what else I've been doing. So because I've been playing in a certain way for years, it was quite a difficult thing for me to break that habit. So. Luckily, I had lying around this little rubber egg thing. It's like a little wrist exerciser that I had from Amazon. And what I've been doing with this is just putting it, resting it on the guitar, like so, putting my wrist above it, and that gives me almost the exact angle that I need. Now, you don't have to go and buy one of these, although they're only a couple of pounds on Amazon, or dollars, I suppose. You can use a rolled up sock, or you can use anything that will give you that little angle for picking through the strings. Now what you will notice with this is that it's harder to mute the strings in this position. So what you will find when you take away the egg or ball or sock or whatever you're using that you can still have that position with your palm on the bridge it just takes a bit of practice. Okay, so that one small change in technique could have a dramatic effect on how well you can move through these strings. The other benefit of this is I found that I was, if I'm playing the, the bottom E string, and then movement, I'm having to change the position of my, of my wrist all the time. Using this technique, I don't have to change it at all. It literally is a really smooth movement. 
or smooth movement, not a smooth movement. So give that a try. It will feel a bit awkward if you've been playing a certain way for years, but persevere because you will find that this makes your playing a lot smoother and a lot easier. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. As I say, I'm gonna put a link to Ben's video where I got the idea in the description. And make sure you subscribe, like my channel, etc, etc. See you later.